It's just now about 7 o'clock. My alarm is set to go off at 6.50. And I've quite literally never got up at that. I always snooze it. So we're up. We're getting it together. We're creating new habits. I want to get back to a more structured routine. One, I do better in structure. For two, I'm gonna have a job soon, so I'm gonna need to be getting up earlier, maybe even earlier than this, so that I can do all the things I wanna do um, in the morning before I have to be at work. But yeah, we're just gonna do a little walking on the treadmill to get our day started, and scout sleeping in the bed, and we're gonna go back and do all the things, breakfast, walk her, but let's get this walk in. And welcome back to The Rachel Show. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, y'all. We is done. Now it's time to go home and get Scout ready for the day. And myself, I have another interview today, which will be my third interview today. Uh, with that company and I also have like a 15 minute little prep call right beforehand and yeah let's get it I'm supposed to go to that med spa today but now that I have this interview I need to think of an excuse not to go because I, like I said I don't want to shoot myself in the foot and not have the opportunity of working at the best ball in case these interviews fall through. But I also don't know how I'm going to go and get out of there to get an interview. Um, so yeah, I need to just text her and tell her my dog is sick, which is true. I'd much rather be at home with my dog, making sure that she's recovering and you know feeding her this new food i want to make sure she doesn't get sick or anything like that today so i'm just going to text her that and hopefully she'll be okay and i can call on monday or tomorrow we are going to give this to scout it is her new probiotic she's still chilling in the bed but i'm trying to get her up for like morning walk Squish, squish. Let's get her up and ready. And I forgot to show you guys, I ordered more of these. These are, I don't know, these are what our vet has given us in the past when she's had yeast infections. And I ran out and I thought I would only be able to get them at the vet, but I just Googled these and Chewy had them. So I ordered them express. So they should be here today, I hope not tomorrow um so hopefully we can get that in because that's what helps to like clean up all the yeast and it's gross sorry okay mama let's turn on the light i got something for you i got something for you i put my hoodie on her when i left so she could have a little scent of mommy Is it too early? You have got to eat this today, Mama. Okay? See, she has so much gunk in her eye right there. You have got to eat this. I know, it's first thing in the morning. It's hard to put something in your mouth. There you go. Good job. This is why I hate when people leave trash on the ground. Now I've got to go try to fish a chicken bone out her mouth because those are dangerous. <sighs> Pissed. Round two of trying to go on a morning walk. Hopefully she doesn't pick up a chicken bone this time. Come on, babe. Let's go. I just got ate up by a bajillion fire ants. I don't know what happened, but I didn't see anything on the ground like I look down when I walk scout I don't even look ahead I've learned I've taught myself over these last six years when I walk scout I better look in that the ground um 
but maybe because they just mowed, maybe they mowed over their anthill, I must have stepped right in it. I have so many ant bites. I already have one that's wilting up on my leg back here, right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. it's red. It's very irritated. And I haven't even, I haven't even scratched it yet. It's kind of annoying me. Um, I literally ran inside without Scout, threw my shoes in the washing machine because they were all over the shoes and climb, climbing up my legs. So I threw the shoes in the washing machine and turned on the water and then came straight into the shower with my clothes on because they were all, already had made it up to my um, belly and I had one crawling on my belly. I might even have a bite there. Like, what a way to start a morning. I was having such a good morning. You know, trying not to stress, and now I'm pissed. I'm going to have to bring myself down, and calm myself down. <sighs> because I am not going to let this stupid little thing ruin my day. It's ant bites. They'll go away. Just there. Itchy as heck. Okay, I looked at the order for those wipes on Chewy, and... I don't know. It said it was going to be here on Sunday. I, I can't wait that long. I'm going to go to this pet store that I think I saw them at. Um, or I saw something similar that I might be able to use. And I'm going to go pick those up. This, this is insane. I think we are in need of a mini shopping spree. Because this, these sweatpants and this t-shirt cannot be the first things that I grab to go out really quick to grab something like I gotta have a cute pair of jeans and a couple of cute shirts or I can even wear a graphic tee with a pair of jeans like I gotta have a couple pair of jeans or something in my closet because this is getting out of hand I do not want to go around looking like a bum I'm never going to attract the man that is my future husband going around looking like a bum okay so I think we might hit the mall after our interviews today um or sometime over the weekend I don't know we gotta hit the mall in Tampa you know it's got all the stores you know what really sucks as being single it's like absolutely no one ever calls me to see how I'm doing no one asks me no one texts me no one. I'm just out here free ball in life. Not no one knows if I'm doing okay. I'm over here. I'm fine. I'm just having a moment. I think I'm just because I'm on my period. <laughs> I have these moments every month where I hate life. I don't know what the hell I'm doing here. And I want a different life for myself, but I don't know how to get there. But then when my period ends, life is fine. So I'm sure I'll be okay in about 48 hours. The pet store that I thought would have them did not have the wipes, so we're at PetSmart. Let's see what they got in here. This will probably be the aisle that they're down. Uh-oh. I'm not seeing them. Maybe they have something equivalent. I lied. They have them here. I lied. They were just all the way down there. So when I came in, I didn't notice them because literally so much. But I got started on all the wipes down there. And then I just looked down here and I was like, oh my God, they have this. This is exactly what I need for her little yeast infection. Shut up. Look at these little cozy cat beds. Y'all, this morning is just not giving what it's supposed to give, as the kids say. Like, I got the wipes. I came home. I like to cut them in half because sometimes you don't need the entire thing and I don't like to waste them. But I get Scout all together and then I come into the bedroom. Even though I had already passed by, Scout threw up. While I was gone, ma'am. <sighs> what a morning. What a morning, okay? From the ants biting me, and I had to rush in and take a shower and wash 
my shoes to running out to go see if I can go get these wipes that I got for Scout. And then coming home, I realized Scout had thrown up on the carpet. Ah, I'm so good about knowing when she's about to throw up and I'll take her to the toilet, but she, it must have been while I was gone at the pet store. So at this point, I just am over it and we're taking Scout to the vet. I've got her a vet visit at this place that I found on Yelp. <sighs> we'll see. Hopefully it's not too gosh darn expensive. And I really just think it's this whole overgrowth of yeast. But it's like I can't get her to even eat her food. Like I made her chicken and rice. And I put a little bit of her new kibble in there. Because you know they said to mix it. Because she was eating chicken and rice just fine yesterday. So then I was like okay well, she's not really eating that. She kind of ate it but picked at it this morning. So then just now I was like finally have a moment. I'm going to mix her kibble dry the old kibble and the new kibble and put it in her little slow feeder toy thing. And she doesn't want that either. So it's like, I can't even get her to eat her food. She's got to eat something, you know? So she's already a skinny mini little girly. So we just got to get her into the bed. I thought like maybe we could just do it on our own, but Every time I think I can just figure it out on my own, Scout always shows me how I'm so stupid and so dumb and just need to pay the money to go to the vet. Oh my god, I'm just so stressed out right now. And then I have those interviews that I've got to rush back to do. Like, but it was the only time we could get her in. So the interview is, I have that 15 minute or to prep for the one that's at 2.30 and then I have the vet visit at 12.30 which is about 40 minutes away so I've got to rush back or else I've got to dress professionally and take an interview from my car on my phone I mean worst case scenario I can do that and I think if I just tell them like hey my dog was sick and I was at the vet you know I think it would be okay I hate to just be so unprofessional and not be in like my home doing a work from home interview but I think it I think they might understand hope so I'm starved I started filling my morning routine and I was like yes okay because the last couple days I fell off my morning routine videos because of the hurricane and scout sickness and I was like, okay, today's gonna be better. I'm gonna wake up, I'm gonna do a morning routine. I even bought my tripod to the gym to fill my morning routine, but now it's just, everything is everywhere and I've had no real morning routine. So that video will not be made today. What a day. And I'm debating on making food or going to Chick-fil-A and getting breakfast because I'm just drained. I'm hungry. I'm drained. I want a coffee. Ugh. I should have just gotten to Chick-fil-A because I was already over there. <sighs> Y'all. I mean, I'm better and I'm in a better mood. I'm just hungry right now. <laughs> and I don't feel like cooking after all of that. So I think I'm going to go run to Chick-fil-A. Maybe I can get Scout in the little car ride. You know, some fresh air might, I don't know. Maybe she needs to just lay in the bed. I have no idea. Let's see if she wants to go on a car ride with me. Ma'am, do you want to go on the car ride? Maybe it's best she stay here because she, she can't eat Chick-fil-A and I don't want her to get jealous that I'm eating Chick-fil-A. Yeah, poor boo Pookie. We got you a vet visit. Is you gonna have go to your new vet today? Yeah. You gonna have to go to your new vet today, ma'am? And you gonna get all the medicines and feel better? Oh my goodness, put no pookie. Okay, um, final decision. We're going to Chick-fil-A, I don't care. It's been too much of a chaotic morning and I need a little bit of a breather and some me time. So I'm thinking Chick-fil-A breakfast and I'm thinking coffee from this local place I went to the other day and hopefully they're open today. I mean we don't have any damage from the storm over here but it just depends like the people that work there and stuff like where they live because there was definitely flooding that was nearby 
I don't know, Clearwater Beach looked fine yesterday. We've been to Dunedin Beach and that looked fine. So I don't know, I think people are starting to get back to normal after the storm. Um, so yeah, coffee, Chick-fil-A, we're gonna reset this morning. It is 10.09 and we're gonna have a great rest of the day. We got Scout a vet visit. She's going to the vet today. Hopefully that's not too expensive. I've got my interviews today. And it's going to be a grand old day. And after that, if I have any energy, I'm taking myself to the mall. And I'm getting a few pair of jeans. So that way I can stop dressing so bummy when I leave the house. Like, but we're going to have a great rest of the day. Okay? We're not going to let those things throw us off. Because I hate when something throws me off for the day and I let it ruin my entire day instead of taking control back over my day and we're about to take control jam out get some chick-fil-a yummies I will see you guys back when we get ready to go to the vet visit I'm gonna bring Scout's car seat in and wash that when I come in from chick-fil-a so that way that's clean because that's a bunch of sand in it and we need to go to the car wash this weekend. We just need to bite the bullet and get us a little membership because this car is sandy as heck. At this point, I'm convinced Satan is out to get me today because now my order is wrong at Chick-fil-A. I ordered a sausage, egg, and cheese muffin. I got a sausage, egg, and cheese English muffin. At this point, I just have to lock this up from crying. Like, what the heck? This morning is not going my way whatsoever. <laughs> We're headed to go get a coffee. And hopefully that's right. I mean, I think I'm just going to order the basic. There's no way to mess it up. I was most definitely the bummiest dressed person in there. So let's take a first sip of our coffee. Oh, that's freaking delicious. Yes. Dang, I wish I had some regular clothes on because I could stay in there and do some interview prep. I was just asking AI like some questions about what I should know about this system. Even though I worked on it before, like what I should know, kind of just to refresh. And then like, what are some really good questions to ask to show my knowledge about this? So got to add that to my little cheat sheet of like questions to ask that I'll have on my iPad. I really hate interviews. <laughs> now what I need to do is make a review for this shower head filter that I've got because I swear my skin is so much softer. Even I'm using like these exfoliating gloves on my body but I'm not using them on my face and I haven't changed my skincare or anything since moving and getting the shower head filter. But I, I even notice like the skin on my face is just so much softer. I need to go and look at an old photo and like do a side by side and take one like today to see if I'm noticing like an actual difference like in the texture. Like is, do I have less texture on my, on my face, you know, or not? Because I swear, it just feels so much smoother. I've never had a shower head filter before. I never really bought into the hype, but I just, it was like $35. I really wanted to get it because I've noticed like once I moved here, the water seemed even worse than when I, where I used to live. Yo, I'm going to do a little, I've got to do a little review video this weekend and try to get that out because swear. This $35 filter is like chef's kiss. But I'm going to do a little comparison photo and stuff like that before I make the review. But I, I'm noticing a difference for myself. And the other filters were like $100 or $150 um, for these like expensive name brand shower head filters. And I was like, no. We've got to find one that's cheaper. And I'm so glad I found the one that I found because I feel like it's doing its job and it's and it's paying for itself. I feel like I look so much better. 
I am so glad that I am taking the time to recurl my hair. I just blew it out yesterday and I felt like it looked like booty trash this morning. I just wanted to curl it a little bit so that way it would look a little more presentable for my interview. And I have to go pee in the middle of that. And so I look out my bedroom window and I notice it's pouring and my umbrellas are in the car. Like seriously, the devil has it all for me today, y'all. I'm not upset about it. Like it is what it is. My hair is naturally curly. So if it gets wet, it, it'll just curl up. But I'm going to put a hoodie on um, when I take Scout out. to go. Actually, I'm going to have to go put her car seat in the car and then come back and get her. So when I go and do that... I'm gonna grab an umbrella. But I am, I think what I'm gonna do is not worry about the curling every single section. I'm just gonna pull out some sections and kind of throw some curls in there. And then the rest is just gonna have to be what it is, you know? And I'm gonna do my fast technique curls. So that way, I didn't put too much effort in in case they definitely just fall because the rain is now changing the temperature of the weather. So, my goodness, what is, what is today? Like, I hope tomorrow, tomorrow is better because today is just definitely not my day. Getting little miss ma'am to the vet. Y'all, I haven't had one second to prep for this interview. It's been bam, 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 right after another. Uh, hopefully I have a moment to like look over the things that I ask AI to write out for me and add that to my notes section thing that I made and gosh, I might have to do this interview for my car. I did bring my laptop so that way I can have my phone for notes and my laptop for the interview. I don't know. This is literally what we're dealing with. It's raining torrential downpour out here. It's not letting up at all. I thought the rain was going to be done by now. It didn't even rain at all yesterday. Like, what the heck? Scout wants a window down. Absolutely not, ma'am. It is raining way too hard out here. I thought that we left in enough time to make it to the bed on time, but we are going to be 11 minutes late, and I am kind of worried because I've never been to this vet. Like, are they going to charge me a late fee? Are they going to cancel the appointment? I just don't know. Like, we are just a few minutes away, but I'm a little stressed. I didn't realize that we were all going all the way down to Clearwater Beach, basically. We're going across a bridge right now to go all the way down to Clearwater Beach. I mean, I really want to make sure I find a vet where both of us feel comfortable, Scout and I, and I feel, you know, safe in case I ever do have to drop her off for like a surgery or something, but a little out of hand. This vet is like almost an hour away. Well, Bear, Bel Air Bluffs, I think that said or something, but this is a water area. Yeah, Bel Air Causeway. It's beautiful out there. But this is insane. I have to leave an hour in advance to go to the vet next time. I'm so livid and just so frustrated right now because the vet really didn't have any recommendations. He's telling me that now grain free isn't the best move to go and I should keep her on the hydrolyzed protein but skeleton to eat breakfast and I just don't know what to do. I'm just so frustrated because I just want to help my baby out and I just want her to be okay right now and I just I'm not quite sure what to do. The vet is telling me that she needs to be strictly unhydrolyzed. And I feel like our previous vet really didn't explain any of this to us. Like, she needs to be on hydrolyzed treats. She needs to be, like, on her men monthly heartwarming clean tick medicine that she get. She can't even get the stuff that we've been giving her. But, like, the vet has been prescribing it and I've been buying it at the vet and they've never once said this is not okay and she needs to move to the other version of the medicine because what she's been getting is not a hydrolyzed version of the medicine and so like literally we're starting back over and I'm, I'm so beyond frustrated because 
my dog is just so uncomfortable right now and I just want to fix everything for her and I can't. Oh my gosh. So now I'm going to try to go take the grain free food back to the pet store. I'm just so lost because I just feel like today they didn't really help me. And I don't even know what's best for my dog because no one really knows. Like, ugh. I'm so beyond frustrated. They mentioned that I could give her a kangaroo diet. You know, trying to do a process of elimination kind of diet. And kangaroo would be something that would be totally outside that dogs don't normally have. And so it could be something that we could try. Um, because obviously chicken, they also mentioned chicken today. And they mentioned the food that I got yesterday. I got duck thinking it's so different, but they said it's actually really not that different. And if I really wanted to do something completely different, I could move her over to a kangaroo based diet. But they said basically stay to the hydrolyzed protein diet make everything hydrolyzed. We're headed to PetSmart. Okay, hold up. We're headed to PetSmart because I'm hoping that they have this can hydrolyzed food. I think I was just so frustrated because it seemed like the vet didn't really have any real solution. I was like, what am I supposed to do if my dog's not eating right now? Like she skips no meals. And for her to be skipping meals is scary for me because she's already a skinny doll and I literally almost cried in the vet. Well, let's head into the store and see what we can find. Well, that PetSmart was a bust, but they did say that I can go to the next one over in Clearwater and they should have hydrolyzed protein canned dog food over there. So we're going to see if we can get her to eat some of the canned dog food. Because that's what the vet recommended. If she's not eating our dry dog food, try the wet dog food. But we've got to do only hydrolyzed everything. So we're starting from scratch. Today is ground zero. Out here on this busy street and I literally just saw a turtle cross the road back there. <laughs> Ready? Just like always. You want to go to the pet store and try to get you some new foods? Okay. Day two of getting new foods for you. Okay, we finally got Scout the right food because she's not eating. So this is what Scout normally eats, but she hasn't been eating, as you guys know. And I fed her chicken and rice the last day and she fit, ate good, but now the vet is saying chicken is not something that she should be eating at all. She has a food allergy problem. And so if she's not eating her dry food, she needs to be eating this wet food and everything she eats needs to be hydrolyzed. Um, I think I'm going to do a whole separate video on this. So that way, if anybody else has these problems, they have someone else that is going through the same thing as them and we can, you know, chat it out in the comments together. Um, I've never once fed my dog canned food and this just, isn't, I don't know, my vibe. I don't know, I'm just gonna cut this up and hope for the best. Um, the vet did say in like, we would see something in like a month's time. You know, we would start to see results, but not real results until like three to six months. But he said strictly no more table food, no more anything, just hydrolyzed dog food. That is it. So now I'm going to try to take this food back to the pet store that I got it from. I've got her last vet said that I can mail back all the medication that she got prescribed for her heartworm flea and tick stuff every month. I can mail that back to them. As soon as they get it, they'll refund my card. So I'm going to do that. I'm probably going to mail that out tomorrow because quite frankly, I am hungry and emotionally and physically exhausted. I've been going and doing since this morning. I literally have barely sat down except for, no, I haven't really even sat down because I forgot that I went and got myself 
breakfast from Chick-fil-A and just eat it in the car. It's not the most chaotic day, but this is all chopped up and ready. So we're gonna see if Scout will eat this. I have no clue. Will you eat this, Mama? Putting it down. Let's see what happens. Oops. Look at that girl. She's eating. And I'm eating a PB and J because I need something quick and I'm so hungry today right now. I tried to get something. I tried to get something at Whole Foods. And I ran in there really quickly because Scout was in the car. And I I literally ran into the store. Scammed for like a sandwich over there in the deli section. But that's a Whole Foods I've only been to like once. I've never bought a sandwich or anything from there. So it's like, oh my god, I don't see anything. So I just ran right out of the store and decided I would just make something super, super quick. Because I am so hungry. I normally eat, eat three times a day. You guys know that. I like to eat all my meals and I don't skip. But running around and worried about Scout, I wasn't even hungry until like the last like 30 minutes and starved. Today has been nothing short of emotionally and physically draining as I have mentioned before. I don't have the willpower to do anything in the kitchen except for muster up some energy to reset it. Um, not only for the sake of my content, but for the sake of just having a reset kitchen when I wake up tomorrow morning. So I want tomorrow to be a whole new day. Not that today was ruined by all the things that happened, but it just was one heck of a day. And I just want to wake up tomorrow and feel refreshed and feel like... My home is in order, so I do plan on doing a reset this evening and filming it. Um, and I did just film a little short video talking about Scout's food allergies because I want to bring you guys on this journey, but like separately from my daily vlogs. I mean, it'll be in my daily vlogs to some degree just because I'm vlogging my entire day every day but i also want to just have that special content separate in case there's anybody else that's like going through the same journey and we can kind of bond together and maybe someone else has great suggestions and like food recipes if i want to make homemade treats and stuff like that you know um but i i am too drained so i'm thinking i'm thinking chick-fil-a Cause I always just get takeout. I never go out to eat. And I think that plays into the part like I'm in my pajamas still basically. Like I just need a little bit to step up my wardrobe just a little bit at least. Because I would love to hire a stylist but I think that's kind of out of my budget right now. So I don't want to put too much money into a wardrobe that's I wouldn't have throw away in a year. You know? But I think at least if I have some jeans that stepping it up a mildly a little bit jeans and a couple of cute shirts which i already have some cute shirts i just need jeans that fit me you know and i have cute shoes i can pull an outfit together if i have some jeans so i think tomorrow we're going to do a little bit of shopping a little trader joe's a weekend reset like we have a lot on our plate for the rest of the weekend and i feel like we're gonna have a great weekend it's a long weekend we can look at jobs. We're going to do our unemployment. We're not going to forget this weekend. And we have our interview on Tuesday. And I'm supposed to hear back about the other interview that I did for the local bank. I'm supposed to hear back to see when they want to schedule that interview. So I have a couple of things on the pipeline for Tuesday. And I think that'll be nice. We'll have a nice long weekend. I am so excited. We're getting Chick-fil-A. And then we're going to go to the Super Target that I've never been to in Clearwater. And we're going to check it out. A little good vibes to pick us up for the rest of the evening. I think it is very much needed. And I just need some, like, me time to, like, re-energize myself for the rest of the evening. And when I get home, I can walk scout do my evening reset, edit my videos, chill out, and get ready for a big day tomorrow. I don't know if I'll end up buying anything at Target. I mean, I'm really into self-care right now, so I'm going to check out like the makeup, self-care kind of aisles, 
there's anything that catches my attention, I might get it. I do need like a new scrub daddy and there was something else that I was like, ooh, I can use that too. I can't remember what it was. Um, I think I just need to make a Trader Joe's run. I think it was just grocery stuff. So yeah, probably nothing but just good vibes and targets. I don't know. I just need a little bit of, of a target recharge. Is that a thing? A target recharge? Well, thing for me. Recharges my spirit. My favorite section. My other favorite section. Shouldn't surprise you at all. Cleaning. I have been thinking about getting more Dawn stuff. Recept didn't clean my stove top because when I use those wipes, it kind of gets like linty. So I have a couple microfiber towels, and I was like, maybe I scrub it with my Dawn and my sponge, and then wipe it up with micro microfiber towel to keep it nice and clean and black and shiny without the lint. Excuse me. I don't know. Excuse me, but I do need a new scrub daddy, so I could get one of those all on here. I know what I absolutely been wanting and been needing. What's the difference between this? Ooh, lavender. I am a junkie for something lavender. Glass cleaner, and this is my favorite glass cleaner. So I think I'm going to pick up a can of this because I've been wanting to like open up my windows so I can clean the outside bottom part of my windows. I can't clean the top part. I don't think it'll slide down and open up, but if I can clean that. And then I need this also for my car and I feel like I could just use one bottle for both. I'm not that picky that I have to have a separate bottle. So we'll get this and then we're gonna get a scrub daddy. Dang, the scrub daddy that I want is that eco one up there. I try to be as equal friendly as I can, but it's so high. I literally don't know if I can reach it. I think I'll just settle for the white one like I have right now. Little $12 haul of cleaning stuff for my videos and just for my life in general. That was a nice little pick me up. Now I am headed home to take care of Scout, do my nightly reset and relax. The water is so beautiful. Ooh. I just got done filming my little reset and I'm going to get my video up. But look at my little bookie. She wants me to cuddle with her. So we're cuddling right now and I think Dateline's about to come on. So best Friday night ever because it's 8.50 right now. So I think it comes on at 9 or 10, one of those. So we're going to watch that, edit our videos and hang out tonight. I love you. Scout ate so much of that canned dog food. I feel so much better that she got something in her belly today. To the people you love them. Say I love you. We love y'all. And we're going to see you tomorrow. Brand new. Love you.